Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda. Uh, we're looking at another Christmas carol today, looking at the wonderful words and the meanings they have for us. And today's carol is a strange one. It's very familiar, O come all ye faithful. I mean, we've all sung it so many times. Originally uh, written in Latin by Cistercian monks in the 13th century, Adeste Fideles. And funnily enough, this carol became the basis for a conspiracy theory way back in the 18th century. Now you might have thought conspiracy theories were something new today and certainly they're very topical because they're floating everywhere these days with social media. But there was no social media in the 18th century but this carol became the basis for a conspiracy theory in, in England at the time. Why? Because the, the guy who had written the music for it was called John Francis Wade and he was a Catholic and he had fled to the continent because of some discrimination against Catholics in England at the time. Now this was after uh, Britain had officially become a Protestant country and of course the defeat of King James at the Battle of the Boyne and, uh, and then whenever Queen Anne died uh, and was the George the first became the from Germany became the King of England and but there were still the Jacobites there were still the Stuarts and there was a guy called Bonnie Prince Charlie who was the pretender to the throne of England and there was a there was a conspiracy theory went around that this Christmas Carol was actually a secret coded message to rally the Jacobites to overthrow the Protestants in England. Um, they said that Bethlehem was code for Britain. They were saying for all the Catholics to come to Britain and, uh, and born the king of angels. If you changed one word, it was the king of the Angles the English, and that Bonnie Prince Charlie was born to be the, the king of the English. And so there was actually a real scare whipped up by this and no basis in truth whatsoever, because as we said, the words went way back to the 13th century. O come all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. O come ye, O come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, born the king of angels. O come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. And it's speaking to the shepherds again. It's, it's the announcement to the shepherds to come and, and behold he that was born King of Angels. God of God, God of light, lo, he abhors not the virgin's womb. Uh, very God begotten, not created. O come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. Now the word is not, it, it, when it says he abhors, it's not adores the virgin's womb it's he abhors in other words he does not hate it he does not shrink back from it and there's echoes here of philippians chapter 2 how the son of god hum god the son humbled himself to be born as a man and also linked in with that where it says he thought it not robbery to be equal with god is that phrase begotten not created which are actually words if you grew up in a tradition where you repeated the Nicene Creed it's those are the words of the Nicene Creed that he is begotten not made in other because the word begotten is not talking about being creation or born as a descendant but that Jesus willingly subordinated himself uh, God the Son even though he was equal with the Father and thought it not equal robbery to be equal with him submitted himself to the Father for, in order that salvation's plan would be fulfilled for us and then the next verse sing choirs of angels sing in exaltation sing all ye citizens of heaven above again it's talking about the angels singing and declaring to the shepherds glory to god glory in the highest oh come let us adore him christ the lord and then the final verse again is about the word being made flesh you know one of the one, one of those Christmas readings that we often use in our carol services is not the ones about the angels and the shepherds and the wise men, but John chapter one, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God, because that is about the incarnation. And this final verse speaks about that. Yea, Lord, we greet thee, born this happy morning. Jesus, to thee be glory given, word of the Father, 
now in flesh appearing. Oh, come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. Join us again tomorrow for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drada.